close till I get up Time is barely on our side Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this makeup look with kind of like a silver mirror. I really like this effect. I've used the pigment from England, which I brought from Poland not long ago. I put also some dramatic eyelashes and I put some uh, more nude side uh, lipstick on. So um, yeah, I think so. This look is pretty nice and I recently really like doing a spotlight makeup tutorial. So uh, yeah, it was everything and I think so. Now it's carnival time. So it's a perfect eye look for a little party or something like that. So yeah, if you want to know how to achieve this makeup look, do just keep on watching. Okay, so let's start it. I'm taking the Warm Taupe by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using my Morphe E22 brush. It's from Elite Collection. I'm not sure actually if you can still get it, but it's one of my favorite brushes, which I absolutely love to blend everything. So I'm just blending that into my crease, like very nicely. And then I'm taking my Zoeva E, uh, Zoeva 317 and I'm taking my Inglot 298 from Water Spice palette and I'm just putting that into outer corner. I saw that technique not long ago and I wanted really to try how does this work with this one, but well, I like it though, but it's nothing crazy for me personally. Now I'm taking my Zoeva 231 and I'm just blending everything out. I need to get more of those brushes. They are so nice and they are perfect for the crease. And I have just one or two brushes. And it's very hard sometimes to clean them because they are so dirty. But obviously I'm cleaning them all the time. Now I'm taking my 227 by Zoeva and I'm just blending everything out just to avoid all the harsh lines. And as you can see, I'm just focusing on the outer corner. I'm not carrying everything in the middle of my crease. Just trying to keep everything just out there. If you need any more eyeshadow, just add, don't be worried about this. I add some. So I'm doing exact the same thing with my inner corner. I'm taking the 317 and my Inglot 298 shadow and I'm just packing everything there. And then I will just change the brush and I will do exact same thing as I've done with my outer corner. And just blend, just to avoid all the harsh lines. We want to have everything nice and blended. Now I'm taking, as well, again, the same brush and I'm taking my Inglot 302, it's from the same palette and I'm just making it more dark. You can make it as dark as you want to. I actually regretting now that I haven't done this even more dark and it ends up at the end. But well, oh yeah, I dropped the brush. Now I'm taking again 231 by Zoeva. And I'm just blending everything. And as I said, if you need any more eyeshadow just to blend it everything nicely or just to add more color, just do it. I did it. Nothing happened. I didn't read anything. So yeah, I'm doing exactly the same thing with my inner corner. And then I'm blending everything with two, uh, 227. And I'm actually putting a little bit just into my crease in the middle. I'm just blending and blend and blend and blend. I hate the faces which I'm doing when I'm blending. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek Corrupt and my Morphe E18 and I think so this as well is not anymore available and no longer but I think so you can get the new one from Elite Collection but not sure about it. I need to check it. But anyway I'm put even more darker eyeshadows in my inner and the outer corner just to make it more dark. As I said, I'm regretting that I haven't that even more dark because that would be look even nicer. But yeah, now I'm using the Makeup Revolution Foil in Pure Platinum and I'm just putting that in my uh, empty space on my lid. And I'm just using my finger to apply it. I think so that's the best way to do it. I'm just packing everything nicely. 
Now I'm taking my Inglot 66 glitter and I'm taking my 227T by Inglot as well, it's like concealer brush and I'm just packing it on my eyelid just to make even more stronger the uh, silver color. This looks exactly like a mirror on your eyelids. You can't really see it on the camera, that's such a shame, but definitely when you see it in the real life it's like whoa, freaking nice. Now I'm taking my Corrupt and E18 and I'm just trying to blend that harsh line in the inner and the outer corner. Now I'm taking my Inglot Glitter 55, the same brush, the Inglot 22T, and I'm just adding a little bit more of glitter. This one have, is more iridescent, iridescent, I think, so that's the word. It's like have loads of reflex, like a pink, blue and other stuff. You can't really see it on the camera. But face to face, you could definitely see that glitter, that shiny stuff. Now I'm taking my free, I think so that's 298, and I'm just blending everything again. Just to make it nicer, yeah. Focus, focus, thank you. Yeah. So I'm blending everything just to avoid all the harsh lines, just to make it nice and blended. And even to the under eyes, I think so that's a problem with that. I'm coming back with my black one, just adding more colors. Now I'm taking, yeah, I'm slay. I'm looking for something. There it is, Zoeva Black to Earth Graphic Liner. And I'm just adding a little line on my eyelid, just because I'm going to apply eyelashes today. And I used eyelashes by Coco Lashes Goddess, which it looks exactly the same like House of Lashes Iconic, which I really love as well. And now I'm tight lining my top lash line. And I'm taking my mascara, Better Than Sex, and I'm just applying a coat of beautiful mascara. That face is which I'm doing when I'm applying my, ma my mascara is just pff, fabulous. I'm looking so hot. I will, yeah. Just blink and blink, applying mascara. That faces, I really can't do it with it. I will just add um, the face, I will apply face makeup out of the camera. Now I'm coming back with my Zoeva Black to Earth. I'm putting this in my lower lash line, my waterline, and I'm taking my E15 Sigma brush and I'm taking 298 shadow from England with a spice and I'm just putting this in my lower lash line. I'm putting this very close to my lashes just because I don't want to see through any of my skin because that will a little bit ruin the makeup, I think so. No, I think so, I think uh, it's definitely ruining the makeup. So yeah, just give it time. Sometimes my eyes are crying and I can see definitely my, lash, my lashes are coming off. Now I'm taking the even darker shade, which was 302. And I'm applying this even closer and I'm just make everything dark and nice and blended. Now I'm taking my M brush in number seven without any additional product and I'm just blending everything out. Now I will take my mascara when I will find it or not. Ah, no. I'm adding also my Inglot 66 and with the 22T by Inglot brush and I'm just packing it in the middle just to give a little bit shine. And now I'm adding my mascara on the lower lash line. On the lower lashes, not lower lash line. Well, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean, isn't it? So just applying the mascara. And then I'm moving on to my uh, the Balm Mary Luminizer. And I'm highlighting my inner corners with Zoeva at 230. And now I'm moving on to my lips. And I'm taking the Sleek Matte Me in a birthday suit. So, yeah, that's the last step of my makeup. I hope so you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave me a comment if you liked it. If you don't, I will be happy. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. 
Thank you. Bye.